Now, according to a policy statement released by the Bank of Uganda, the second wave of COVID-19 appears to have hit the economy severely and there is reducing prospects for a quick recovery. However, access to the internet, a growing middle class and the changing shopping habits due to the coronavirus pandemic are leading to the rise of e-commerce businesses and a surge in online sales. For more perspective, Africa 54 technology correspondent Paul Ndio spoke to Ron Kawamara, uh, the CEO of Jumia in Kampala, Uganda. You run Jumia Uganda. How has business been uh, like for you in the last uh, year? The last year has been a challenging one for everyone in the economy. Uh, um, what we saw is that uh, we had a total shutdown of the economy and it had uh, strong ripple effects. But we saw that companies that did not have an online exposure were affected the most. Uh, and on the other hand, we saw the creativity and ingenuity of Ugandans who quickly pivoted to using innovation and technology to get the goods and the services that they need to be able to stay home and stay safe. So we saw a lot of uh, new customers who had never used Jumia, who had never used uh, online companies begin to transact online. We saw uh, thousands more of our partners or, or vendors who also embraced technology to continue to sell at a time where they could not sell in an offline space. So overall, I think that uh, we saw a burst of innovation. Young entrepreneurs who started small delivery companies, uh, logistics providers, to make sure that they can continue to serve the public who was staying home and staying safe. And so I'd say that uh, there was a silver lining in a tragedy uh, that uh, entrepreneurs used innovation to provide solutions at a time that, that many Ugandans and many Africans needed this. Talk to us about uh, how you've been able to run your businesses and uh, what lessons you've learned at this far. For my context, uh, we've learned that uh, we need to adapt with the times. Um, that uh, before COVID-19, uh, perhaps we are not very well set for all the essentials. And uh, now we realize that uh, by people staying home, they needed groceries, they needed fresh food, fresh produce. And so as Jumia, we quickly adapted to make sure that uh, we have everything that a customer needs. Today, as a result, we are much more complete business that we have all the consumer needs available. Uh, we were the only uh, providers of logistics to the upcountry. Uh, these are areas that uh, don't have good connectivity to good retail. And with the lockdown that was in place, customers had no way of getting good retail in, in those tier two and tier three upcountry areas. But uh, because of our expanse uh, logistics network, our warehouses, our pickup stations, we were able to serve uh, a segment of people who otherwise uh, were not uh, catered for. So we learned how to be resilient, we learned how to adapt, we learned how to cater for the people at a time where they had no options. And I think that Jumia as a result is, uh, is a much, uh, the business closes the people and the people love Jumia much more. Interesting, uh, when you look at uh, the tech giants here, especially those that are in uh, the e-commerce business, you look at uh, Amazon, uh, the likes of Alibaba, uh, these are companies that uh, grew like 1,000% uh, uh, in the last year or so. I wonder what it's been like for your companies uh, back in Africa. I think uh, we need to add context um, to that question. Um, if you are to look at um, the US, North America or Europe, uh, e-commerce or online transactions make up uh, close to 30% of all transactions. And uh, in Africa, uh, we are still about 1% or less of all transactions happening online. And for the first time, uh, we saw that um, e-commerce was a safe option, that customers were safer by buying online and staying home, that customers who could pay online avoided holding cash and potentially receiving or spreading the virus. And so for the first time, e-commerce or online business was not just a convenience, was the necessity, was the safe choice. That allowed us to grow quite fast. It really led us to get to a point whereby we can say we're reaching that um, point of no return. We feel that um, the customers that were acquired uh, in the last uh, nine months 
do love buying and selling online. Uh, they do love the quality of the service they get, and they are coming back in, in, in very high numbers. So um, we might not uh, be at the uh, growth of Amazon yet. We're getting there. And, and, uh, and what we saw in the last nine months showed the trust that uh, the public uh, across the African markets have in online trade. And, and that, for me, is a very positive trend. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, that was Africa 54 technology correspondent Bondio speaking to Ron Kawamara, CEO of Yumia, Uganda.